It turns out that the Albuquerque police officer who was shot and wounded late last night had a very close call. He is recovering today from surgery to remove a bullet that came within a fraction of doing severe and permanent damage. News 13's Lizay Mitri has more from the Newsplex. Lizay. Dick, APD says it's not releasing the officer's name because the suspects are still on the loose after what turned out to be a very busy St. Patrick's Day and night for officers. Residents in this southeast Albuquerque neighborhood are still trying to put together the details of what happened at Ross and Ortiz near San Mateo last night. I thought they were firecrackers or, or the kids playing with some fireworks. Sammy Baca says they woke him up, but they weren't fireworks, they were gunshots. And it was like about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. We were up watching a movie and we looked outside and there was a bunch of cops. There was like a crime lab and everything. APD says officers were in the area around 1030 last night responding to a couple of incidents when gunshots went off from a block away near Madera Drive, sending bullets straight toward police. One pierced through an officer's lower back into his pelvic area, dangerously close to his spine. He complained of numbness in his legs and went to UNM Hospital for emergency surgery to remove the bullet. Police say he's doing well, but he will need physical therapy as he continues his recovery. APD had the crime scene blocked off until this morning, collecting evidence including three shell casings. One neighbor says he slept through all the commotion last night, but wasn't surprised to hear the news in the morning, saying it's a dangerous neighborhood. And I just moved out here because it's closer to work, but it's just time to move out of here. It's I got two little kids I got to take care of too, you know what I mean? So it's not good for them over here. Police say the injured officer has been with APD for a little more than a year. They say he is in good spirits, though, at the hospital with his mother and his fiance. Back to you. All right, Lise, police still have not figured out why shots were fired in the first place. As for suspects, they're only saying that they're looking for two men who were seen in the area. 